you take two guide liners, they're going to need to be, obviously, if you're eight French, you can get an eight French guide liner. The next one will need to be two French smaller to fit inside right. that. Okay. And then do you just load reason, it? Sorry to interrupt you. The reason for that is I knew an eight French guide liner was not going to pass through all of that. Sure. And sure. I really needed a guide extension literally sitting at the lesion so I can push. You asked me, why don't you take a six French guide liner? Because I knew the terrible things that I went through <laughs> in this case, and I knew how hard it is to pass equipment. So I was literally wanting to make sure that I have two guide extensions in this nightmare case. So I can uh, position the six French guide liner where it's supposed to and multiply the support and the pushability. That's great. And so you load them one at a time at a wire. You, you, you put on the eight French, put it up, and then put a six French inside. That's and it goes right, right inside as you, as you push them up. Yeah, no. I mean, sometimes, you know, if obviously the aorta is tortuous, you may face some difficulty, but I usually fluoro the proximal port of the eight French guide liner, and I make sure my six French guide liner is passing smoothly without any issues. But um, I haven't had any problems doing that, but I could if the anatomy is very tortuous. Uh, so it's not like a straightforward thing. Great. Uh, Great technique. So um obviously at this point um i wanted to kind of pass through pre-dilate and try to get a shockwave balloon this is a 3-0 non-compliant balloon you can see that's not really tickling the lesion uh and that was yeah. the lesion that caused us the problem in the first place and the lesion that was not prepped appropriately yeah and again you couldn't prep that because you ended up with a distal dissection so you didn't really row to that so and you probably can't now because it's dissected. Right. So, yeah, so yeah. you're really stuck just needing to get stents across. Yeah, uh, I underestimated uh, the length, so I wanted to be as short as possible from a stent standpoint, and I wanted to prep the least amount of uh, the the smallest segment so I can deploy a stent. But I was unfortunate to end up in the middle of of plaque, and uh, of course I was trying to avoid going with a long stent and uh, trying to go through this tortuosity and I paid the price for it. So uh, at this point, uh, the guide extension is literally, as you see here, a sitting proximal to the most difficult lesion. And this is a 4012 uh, shockwave balloon that, uh, and you can see the eight French guide liner was advanced as far as it can go. And this is what allowed me to push the shockwave balloon through it and you can see the shockwave now is passing and the, of course the guide is struggling and you can see it's almost flying out and i have an eight french by 45 destination by the way wow. <laughs> so it's like you know so we have a, a good sheath a, a huge guide a huge guide extension a six french guide and an eight french guide and even with all of that and with pre-dilation you can see the shockwave is having a hard time passing through, but finally it, it made it. So obviously we're shockwaving distal to proximal here. Um, and uh, the we ended up successful with that procedure. And obviously I'm gonna fast forward to the final result here. Um, let me show you the LAO. Beautiful. And um, fortunately and unfortunately, let me show you the RAO. So obviously there's some haziness, some of it is calcium, but uh, unfortunately the patient presented uh, two and a half weeks later with chest pain. I'm like, oh my gosh, no. Um, and my partner cathed him and thankfully the right corner, it looked like that uh, two and a half weeks later. So uh, I don't know what was going on with him. <laughs> but, yeah. uh, and that's another shot of it. Well, hey, that's a great technique. Appreciate it. I appreciate it. So I, I see this right. You know, it's tortuous, heavily calcified. You know, those those vessels are going to give you a really tough time. So um, that's a great technique. I haven't used it, but um, I'll definitely be considering it in the future because I think you need all the support you can get in these uh, in these kind of vessels. And whoever is listening, don't do what I did at the beginning. Kind of. <laughs> yeah. 
just go for the entire thing and don't take shortcuts. <laughs> I agree. When you see this kind of a vessel, you want to go big, you know, and go big up front and get it done properly. So, all right. All right. Hey, well, great case. Appreciate having right. you on. Thank Talk you. Soon. Always a pleasure. See you. Bye. Great.